It is excited to be here. It is so excited to be here right now. It is so excited. It, of course, is me. I've noticed it's cool recently to refer to yourself in a third person, so I took it a step further and assigned myself a third person impersonal pronoun, it. <laughs> that way I can build a subconscious barrier in my brain between reality and fantasy. It can go out and do whatever it wants. And I share none of its responsibility. It'll go out and get wasted. The next day, its friends will call me up. Dude, you were so hammered at the bar last night, you spent like 300 bucks, and we think you banged a dude. <laughs> It did what? <laughs> it is crazy, man. <laughs> it's gonna have to get a part-time job if it keeps living la vida loca. <laughs> All right then, bye Lamos. <laughs> Made a joke about banging a dude just now. I think, I think we all heard that. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, I've never banged a dude. Uh, but I do have gay dreams. I'm not talking about dreams that are silly or ridiculous. I'm talking about dreams where it's just me and another dude alone doing some really gay shit. Like shopping for candles or something. Clearly I'm a gay man in that dream, right? Some people can't believe I would admit that in public. Well, Ryan, if you're dreaming you're gay, you're going to be gay in real life. If you're dreaming it, it's gonna come true. Well, let's examine that logic for just a second if we can. You're saying because I've dreamt something, it's gonna happen. Well, if that is true, then being gay doesn't even make my list of concerns. Because I've had some crazy ass dreams before. You know what I'm saying? One time I had a dream I was at a pool party with Satan and Santa Claus. We were playing poker and looking at naked pictures of donkeys. I guess they'd just be pictures of donkeys, but you understand how weird that, that dream is. Uh, I had another dream once where I was this huge, like, 500-pound frog that liked to hop around town eating human babies. Right? So as you can imagine, having a dick in my mouth is the least of my concerns. But I'll be able to fly someday. That's a pretty cool trade-off, you know? In my waking life, I like women. Uh, when I'm not ramming. Uh, <laughs> I give a lot of rem jobs, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> when I'm awake, I, I like ladies. Uh, <laughs> world. My dad's a pretty cool dude. He is a common pleas court judge. Uh, in the state of Ohio, where we have capital punishment, which means he has the power to sentence someone to death if they're found guilty in his courtroom, uh, which is a crazy power for a person to have, I think, you know? He's a Republican, which is fine, but I don't have a problem with that. He's a Christian, which is fine, I don't have a problem with that either. But what that combination means <laughs> is that he's against abortion but for capital punishment, right? And my simple brain locks up when I try to figure this one out. That's like, that's like, that's like saying I'm totally against the consumption of cookie dough, but I believe it's perfectly okay to eat cookies. <laughs> You'd have all the same political arguments, you know what I mean? you have the liberal left, where everybody knows cookie dough is not a cookie until it pops out of the oven. <laughs> Unless you can stick a fork in and out of a cookie cleanly, it's not a cookie. <laughs> You'd have the middle of the road, we believe in partially cooked consumption. <laughs> because our chefs have proven that after four minutes in the oven, cookie dough gets a browned bottom. And everyone knows the signifying trait of a cookie is a brown bottom. <laughs> You'd have the conservative right. Did you know that at its inception, cookie dough has completely formed chocolate chips? <laughs> Listen, as a man, I don't believe I'm entitled to an opinion on this matter. Because I know the kitchen is a woman's place. <laughs> that's the kitchen right there. That's... That's the kitchen. That's where babies get cooked. <laughs> there are two things I will never understand, and I've tried. I've studied them, I've tried to understand. The first one is television. That's the devil's box. I don't know where those pictures come from. <laughs> how, do you, how, do they, how do they show up? I'm just never... And the other one is craps. I've lost so much money playing craps. <laughs> I got $15,000 in credit card debt on cash advance, but all because of there's too much action. There's like sticks and there's people throwing dice. There's ladies with their boobs out jumping up and down. They're like, oh, I can't hit a I, roulette. I can pick numbers. 
<laughs> I come from an Irish Catholic gambling family. You're old enough to hold money in my family, you're old enough to lose that shit. <laughs> my grandma took me for $100 at Christmas once. My gift that year was a card that just said, see you at the table with a $50 bill inside. <laughs> I lose all my money, I'm upset. She's like, well, you shouldn't gamble with money you can't afford to lose. I'm eight fucking years old, Grandma. I don't even know what those words mean. We are the most amazing creature on the planet. As much as I hate human beings sometimes, because we kill each other and we fight over stupid shit. Then I remember our human ancestors for one million years used the same dumb rock for everything. That was their tool, that was their weapon. They did not innovate past that same rock for a million years. Think of the last 200 years. We've got the automobile, we've got computers, we've got labradoodles. <laughs> I'm just saying the word labradoodle doesn't bring a smile to your heart. Something's wrong. <laughs> We're like the Dr. Moreau of adorableness. <laughs> right? We're doing okay, you know. Don't regret the things you never did. Here's what I do. I regret the things I've done. <laughs> I'm not gonna be on my deathbed thinking to myself, oh, I wish I woulda. I wish I coulda. I wish I woulda, shoulda. No, I'm gonna be on my deathbed going, oh, I should not. <laughs> oh, I never shoulda. <laughs> Especially not twice. <laughs> It's like backwards progression. I don't know what's happening. I'm just becoming amazed by more stuff. Like, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I'm into right now. I'm into letters and numbers. Oh, <laughs> that's my shit right now, dude. <laughs> letters and numbers. Very simple, very basic. If we didn't have letters and numbers, we wouldn't have any of this stuff, right? We wouldn't be able to think elaborately, to be able to craft lies, to try to get women to have sex with us. We wouldn't have any of these people in the room. We wouldn't have this building or this electricity. Like, how do we not know the name of the person who invented the alphabet? How do we not know that person's name? Oh, it's because there wasn't an alphabet, so they couldn't have had a name. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I dig that, I dig that, man, yeah. I'm into that. It's important to say I'm not high right now, because I'm not. I just dig that. Like, we should have a street named after the alphabet person, but they already all kind of are. Yeah, yeah I love that. 